Welcome. Hello. Hello. Um, it's nice to see you all again. Um, and this is quite an exciting kind of week we've got coming up, isn't it, Hells? Yes. Virtual Open Weekend. <gasps> Very soon. Very soon. For everyone who missed out on the in-person one last month. Yeah. Definitely. And we've got see some fun things. All manner of fun things to show people. Um, and yeah. It's all coming very soon. Um, for anyone unfamiliar as well, we should introduce ourselves. So um, I am Sonia. And I'm Helena. And we um, both own John Arbin Textiles, terrifyingly enough. <laughs> Neither of us is called John. Just no, to clear that up. exactly. <laughs> Maybe we can get our names changed by Depol. That'll okay. be the next step. <laughs> Two or Maybe three not. years from now. <laughs> John 1 and John 2. <laughs> like Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. So we're here today to um, just, we've got a little bit of footage that we recorded at the in-person open weekend and it's largely all the mill folk. Yes. Um, so there's lots of lovely chats with um, all the other fab people that work here. And then Hells and I also wanted to show you all the specials because we've got lots of specials coming up. I've got a little bag. Oh. Look, here's some. Here's one I made earlier. And the pretty bag Ooh. that shows all of the colours on it. Look at that. And these specials are all called Brewed by the Bill Folk. Because it wasn't me and Helena who made the specials this time. No, nope, everybody else did. Yeah. We wanted a cup of tea and to put our feet up when it came to making the special open weekend colours. No, actually, we just thought it would be really nice if some other people if had a go. If everyone got a chance to have a go. Definitely. So, yeah. They all in their little teams picked yeah. one of the yarn ranges and did three colours in that yarn range. Yeah. Um, so we've got a close up of all of those and then chats with um, all the mill folk at the open weekend and um, yeah, then of course the open weekend is also very soon so we'll have lots of fun things and there's lots of great uh, Zoom sessions going on, one of which is going to be the launch party for this lovely jumper. Yeah. It's called Free Solo. Um, and it is by Melanie Berg, who is a great German designer. She is, I'd say, a bit of a shawl extraordinaire, but she also makes lovely sweaters. And it's gorgeous, this. I haven't been able to take it off. The sample arrived a couple days ago. Yeah, it's I lovely. might be stealing it. <laughs> this, this version is in the three specials of the Harvest Shoes. Mm. Um, her version is... Pinks and reds. Yeah, so which it's is also lovely. Rose Bay, pomegranate, and barley. Melanie's version, but we thought it would be great to make a version in the special yeah. brewed by Harvest Hughes colours. Yeah, and it's the four ply. We should say. Yes. Um, yeah. So there's lots of lovely things to kind of show off and tell you about. Um, so what we'll do first is um, go back in time. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> That's the special back in time noise. Okay. <laughs> um, to a couple of weeks ago when we were at our in-person mill open weekend. And um, then after that, Hells and I will be popping back up again to tell you a few more things about the virtual, which is coming up in mere moments, just around the corner. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, so you'll see us in a bit. And for now, we will leave you in the past. We just thought because it's um, the open weekend, we'd kind of pop round and have a chat with everyone. So yeah. of course here I am in we... Top's Corner. Yeah, and what have you been up to over the weekend? Uh hiding. <laughs> no, I've been doing tours at the mill in the mornings mm. and then I've been coming over to the lovely 
Victorian assembly rooms it's in beautiful. South Bolton, which is, is stunning and was all built yeah. with wool merchant money, basically. Yeah. So what, what a better place to be in. Oh, so there you go. At the front of the building, there's like little sheep heads. So yeah, it's, it's rams, properly... Ram, big rams heads out the front, aren't they? So it's, it's a quite... rich textiles heritage yeah. here in South Molten, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so no, it's a good place nice to, to be. Nice to be keeping it alive in our own little way. Yeah, and there used to be two mills here. They're still yeah. The buildings are still here, but, yeah. um, but there's a third mill here now. There is, and you oh. set it up. I did set it up back in, <laughs> came down near here in 2000. Yeah. So some 22 years ago, with a loose idea of making um, textiles, yeah. spinning yarn, and here we are. Yeah. And now you've had enough. And now you're, it's now you've be had yours. enough. Yeah. Now I've had enough, so I'm giving it to you. <laughs> you're at eight now. You and Sonia. Are you and I Hayden. am Sonia. <laughs> Are you Hayden? We've done this, but this is this is the end of the day on our third day so you'll have to bear with us a little bit <laughs> so we're there we're not making much sense yeah, anymore no, kind of there not so, that we make yeah. that much sense normally so yes <laughs> I, I, me and my good lady Juliet are mm. retiring and handing the baton over quite literally to uh, Sonia and Helena and we couldn't think of um, well we couldn't think of anybody else so they no we couldn't think of anybody better <laughs> To take it no on one them. else wanted to no, do no, it, no, quite no. frankly. Well, they got first dibs <laughs> and they, they stood up to the, to the mark because I was scared we'd have to end this oh, fantastic God, yeah. meal, that break it all up, sell the kit. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're not doing that, so long may it continue. Well, I think if, if Helena and I manage 20 years, I'll be happy. So would then I. Then we'll pass it off to someone if I'm else. I'm still alive, I'll be happy. You'll be alive. I'll be 79. I've given you that vegan butter. You'll be right. going for years. I'll be the now. old man in the corner in the uh, mill with a <laughs> cup of tea. Yeah. Fiddling yeah. with something. Yeah. Just give him something to do. He keeps coming in and we don't know what to do with him. <laughs> Tell him that that doesn't work and he needs fixing. We can set you up like a pretend machine in the yeah. corner. You can just take it yeah, apart. Right. I won't remember anything together. anyway. So every day will be a new day then. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're so, not going too far away, really. No, I'm going to be around to maintain and fix when you yeah. need me. I think that's the deal. Definitely. And I'm quite happy to do that. So Definitely. it becomes a hobby. And um, there's plenty of people there who know what they're doing now as well. You'd like to think. People like Jack. Yeah. He's, 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 Jack's shy, so yeah, he said we couldn't record no. him. So you won't get to meet Jack, but you'll Jack, have to imagine him. Jack is mini me with machines. He wears so. lots of wonderful plaid shirts. Yeah. That's... Yeah, he does. He does? Yeah, he's a great guy and yeah. he, he's going to do a lot of maintenance as well. He's got a nice gentle manner. Along with manner. Laura. Laura's learning the, the, the art as well. So she is? There we go. Yeah. yeah. So. Meanwhile, I'll, uh, I'll be making donuts. Yeah. Uh, that's no lie. Making donuts, allotmenting. Allotmenting, um, record shop. I'm building a yeah. record shop. Okay. Yeah. Making pickles, allotments, yes, and kayaking. Yeah. And, um, Yesterday during the talk, John said he'd build a brand new washing machine for to, all of you to yeah. wash your wool in. So. Yeah. Design the ultimate wool washing machine. You'll be busier than ever at the rate I've you're going. I've got to get a good name for it, haven't I? I've got, yeah. I've got some great brand names, which I'm not allowed to mention <laughs> thus far. And um, John Bombardi. John Bombardi, yes. <laughs> That's my onion bargy uh, brand. And That's I'm going to do tandoori, chicken tandoori scotch eggs. Yeah. And they're going to be called John Dory's. Is yes. that a kind of fish? It is a fish. It is a fish. So, yeah. Of course it's, it's not. A it's, a chick, it's, a chick, it's a chicken tandoori scotch egg hmm. as well. So in 10 years time, no one will associate John Dory's no. with so need, fish. Uh, It'll just be that scotch egg. Scotch that's egg. actually rice. That's right. <laughs> and chicken. Yeah. So that'll, that's a dream for everyone. What have you been doing this weekend? So <laughs> you've been doing mill tours. I've been mill tours <laughs> and I've been selling tops and I've been playing my 78 uh, uh, vinyl records um, or shellac, so they say, on my old dance set. Yeah, no, to we, the uh, to to the lovely people that are roaming around drinking tea. Okay. Mm, it's be been better. all right, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's been, been all right. Nice. No, it's been good fun. Definitely. It's been a lovely, Definitely. lovely time. A great venue, and um, yeah, yeah, great way, Couldn't great fitting for way for me Couldn't and Juliet to more. retire. I think. Definitely. 
Cool. Yeah, well done, because you, you and Son, you and Sonia. You're calling me Helena. <laughs> <laughs> you, Helena, you and Sonia have been, um, you've been, you put this on. Honestly, sometimes I feel like I need three of me. Yeah, so you do. Maybe I'll clone myself <laughs> next. And it's, you've done an amazing job, brilliant. Oh, Absolutely. thank you. Couldn't have done it better myself. Well, likewise, there likewise. Yeah. I mean, it's Juliet who found this incredible venue, actually. So, mm. do you know what I mean? And you're going to do it here again? I reckon. I, I reckon. I think you should. Yeah. And I think everybody should come over and experience Well, yeah, hopefully some of you watching can come over next time. Yeah. You know. And I'll sell you a donut. Because I'll maybe have my donut machines. Oh, are you going to do the cafe next year then? Donuts, donuts Donuts and barges and and John (laughs) Dorries. Right. Cheers, Josh. Yeah, no problem. I'll just go and put a record on. Thank you. Perfect. Bye. Here I am with Julia. Bye. Uh, and what have you been doing at the Open Weekend? I've been highlighting. I've had 13, maybe 14, sometimes 15 clipboards. Sonia's just stolen one of my clipboards. 14 clipboards, clipboards I So have. it's not been a good thing for me. A bit traumatic. I have to keep track of all the clipboards. Five different colour highlighter She pens. makes me fill out a form when I want to borrow a <laughs> clipboard, don't I'll you? I'll be counting them all back in. So, <laughs> yeah. I've been on information stand, helping, well, trying to help. And checking people in, it's been very, very exciting. Yeah, you've facilitated the entire thing. If it wasn't for Juliet, no one would know where to go or what to do. That's right. And we just all have to. So nobody's gone anywhere. We've all sat in a small corner because I've got confused. (laughs) But I was bought flowers. Yeah. Who bought you flowers? Faye bought me flowers. But I've just learnt that actually Bex picked the flowers, but Faye took all the credit. I mean. It's wrong. But anyway, this is like this is face, this is very nice. They're beautiful. But the pot's face. Uh, yeah. Faye beautiful. also does pottery. Yes, yeah, so but we've all helped out and done lots of everything. I've run around. Yeah. Yeah. And helped. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I've eaten we've a done, lot of we, we're quite tired at least, so I, we must have done something. I've right? eaten a lot of cake. <laughs> I've made sure John Arbin's got out of bed in time. <laughs> nearly this morning nearly didn't get out of bed he set the alarm for seven o'clock in the evening oh so he nearly didn't make it at all <laughs> so um i left him there going that's not the right time then <laughs> so yeah i made yeah so and you've been keeping me in delicious food as well you gave me some of your aubergine tart yeah the great thing about this venue our new venue mm-hmm. is that on the saturday there's a pannier market directly below us yes and there's a, a gentleman that cooks amazing tarts, so fruit tarts yeah. and savoury tarts, aubergine and sun-dried tomato It was tart, delicious. Puff pastry. Yeah. It didn't last long. There were no. three of it, me, you and Tash. Yeah. Literally, we were going to share it out and there was no chance. No, it, no, it no. It disappeared. We did save Lauren a bit seconds. because... No, I had that bit. Oh, did you actually eat Lauren's <laughs> And then I had the crazy. Had did you have a scrap? No, I don't think she did. I had a crazy pastry thing, so I was sharing as well. Yeah, really? yeah don't you remember I had that she black? That I thing. had that black. She forest, didn't know it's a lie. She had that all on her own. I chopped she it did. up. That she was Bex that. Oh, was it you? You ate all of yours. Yeah. She promised me I shared mine. the custard tart, but I didn't get that. Have you had some of the um, sausage rolls? Listen, it's all about the food. <laughs> we didn't. We did. Do, we did. Play with some yarn or something. We did play with some yarn. This is what. Um, so when Juliet used to write the newsletter, it was yeah. always all about all about <laughs> what food you've been eating at the beginning. Okay. I try and carry on the tradition. Well, we do like food. food. There was a lot of food in the mill. Yeah. It's and you lot. and I quite like a bit of food, we don't like we? We like nice food. Yeah, we do. Yeah, no, it's good. Oh, yeah. It's good. But we've uh, the, all the spinners came. I looked after all the spinners. You did the spinners you and did. lovely Heather who demonstrated the you loom. Know, I all was the guild, the, all the guilds came, our local yeah. guilds, and they came and demonstrated, and it was lovely. It was really nice. It was really nice, definitely. Yeah. So that was great. They had amazing, um, like paintings on the fronts of their wheels. A lot of the spinners. It was incredible. Like really pieces. beautiful. And they're heavy. They're strong. They're tough. Mm. Tough those spinners, yeah. Carrying those spinning wheels around, but we have had a ball here. It yeah. is a beautiful venue, and it's really yeah. nice to be here. Yeah, yeah. John's played some tunes. Yeah, it? it's been good. Yeah. yeah. And are you going to come back to the next one, even if you're you're retired? Even if I'm retired, I am retired. What are you talking about? <laughs> even if <laughs> I'm retired, I'm retired. Next time we will. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's lovely, lovely that you and Helen and I are taking over. So I'm going to get teary now. Oh, <laughs> it's the it end is. of a long week. It is. It's, it's, I'm very proud. Proud of everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And you've done an amazing job. Aww. Thank you. Well, you have too, though. I mean, we wouldn't be in this venue if you hadn't found it. If you I hadn't the one built that found it. it. Yes. Every stone brick. by stone. No, it's nice because it's a real sheepy town, South mm-hmm. Morton, as well. Yeah. It's all the Pannier Market and this whole place. Is, there's lots of sheep farmers around here. Yeah, so definitely. So the, the, um, the council, because it's a council building, were really, really chuffed. Yeah. Because the town clerk's a sheep farmer. So yeah. he was so excited we were having a bully event here. And they all came. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, I missed they them. It was too busy. Really I missed sha- them. They to have a really sheepy oh, perfect. thing going on here. That's great. Oh, nice. Well, they'll have us back again then. They we have behaved have ourselves have behaved. as well, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> mostly. That's it. So there you go. Oh, well, thanks for chatting. It's nice. Thanks for sorting. Thanks for doing all the do. Doing the do. Doing the do. It's a collaborative do. It's I don't all, do it all by myself. No, do we all I? have to have help. Yeah. We all have to have help. You with can't the doing. do it by yourself. No, no. no. Good. And it's the virtual one. Not That's long. Why. I think it might even be now. Is it now? I think it might be now. It's virtual now. <laughs> yeah. So, we're so a bit tired. welcome. Welcome to the virtual <laughs> one. Yeah. And thank you for coming. Yeah. So the other excitement that we will have at the virtual open weekend is all of these amazing hand dyed skeins. Yes. So these are some of our lovely customers that dye on our bases. We asked them if they would like to be part of our event. Yeah. And some of them were very excited and sent us lots of beautiful, beautiful yarn. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. So they're all our bases. We've got a mixture of Appledore, Devonia, and Exmoor sock, don't we? And um, there'll be details on the website for exactly what it is and what shades we've got. And there's seven different hand dyers. Yes. So we shan't go into it now because we'll be here until... Uh... But as you can see, all of them do varying different styles and mm. colours. So some pastels, some nice rich colours, some crazy stripes. Yeah. Some sort of variegated of different types. Ooh. Some minis. The minis are fun, aren't they? And they're really nicely coordinated, the minis. And some of these are natural dyes as well. So lots of different things for everyone's taste. Definitely. We love all of it, so if you don't buy it... We will just take it all home. (laughs) We already did take some of it home. (laughs) We'll have to take more of it home. So save us from ourselves. Here we are with Laura, and I think if people watch the vlog regularly, they might they might recognise you. Yeah. I've described a couple of machines for you. Yeah, yeah, you have. You have. I think I've even introduced you already when you were describing a couple of machines. Yes, probably. Yeah. yeah. So I've met a few people who've been like, I recognise you from the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice to know someone's out there watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but here we are at the open weekend. Yeah. And we are in front of all of the beautiful top specials. Our mill open weekend specials. And I forgot to make them a special sign. So you (laughs) made them a a special special sign. sign. (laughs) (laughs) And it looks great. You've got out the chalk and the highlighters. Just stole Juliet's work, highlighters. Working with the stationery available. <laughs> Just jazz it up a bit. Well, it looks brilliant. It looks so festive. <laughs> <laughs> and you made some of these, didn't I you, did, Laura? I did, yeah. Um, so I was in Team Yana Delic mm. working with the Corriedale, so uh, which is these three. Uh, and that was me, John, and Jack worked in these ones. So we each sort of 
pulled out some little bits of fibre, thought about colours we liked, songs that we were inspired by to make those colours. Um, and we actually each worked individually to make them. So this top one, this is mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is called Confide in Me, inspired by a Kylie song, which I'm sure John doesn't approve of. That's fine. He's not in charge not anymore. Mine. You pick this one. <laughs> uh, and this is made with uh, white, yellow and black. Um, it looks really cool as a top, uh, but then when it's spun, it comes out like a pale green. Mm. People go, ooh, you've made a nice green, and I'm like, there's no green in there. Uh, so it's really interesting how it changes as it's spun and how people perceive the colour. I yeah. love that. I think that's one of the things that's always magical about the tops, isn't yeah. it? It's like seeing what goes in it and then what colour it turns out as. Yeah. Because again, this is Jack's one. Is it yeah. Soul Drums? Yep. Yeah, which is a great, it's like a really funky song. I listened it? to it the other day. Yeah, there's a lot of drumming, unsurprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this in the top is like, um, it's like a navy blue with brown, isn't mm -hmm. it? And then when it's spun, it almost looks like a kind of purplish gray. Mm -hmm. yeah, it really changes. It, yeah, it doesn't look like a blue. No, um, for sure. So it's really interesting how they all come in. Which yeah. ones have caught people's eye through the weekend? Mm. Uh, it's been really cool. To yeah, see that. definitely. But you haven't just been here in Tops Land. I haven't. I've spent sort of half of my mill open weekend here in Tops Land, selling tops to all the lovely hand spinners, uh, and then every lunch time I've been zipping off in my car. <laughs> um, back up to the mill and doing some of the tours in yeah. the afternoons which has been really cool to be able to do both halves of the um, mill open weekend and showing people around all of the machines, answering their questions, showing them how we go from fleece to uh, tops to yarn. And I think you hadn't done a proper official tour no, before this weekend so it was true. a bit of a baptism of fire. <laughs> I'm sure you know exactly. Yes all of it now <laughs> yeah we were given a briefing from john this is what i do on the tour because previously john has done all of them yeah. so uh, all of us had to learn like what are we meant to say what's the background uh, what's specific about this machine all that kind of stuff because obviously we know the workings of the mm. mill but um in a tour you need to give a bit yeah. more information um so we've been we did a little bit of a practice run the other day and yes, uh, one afternoon I was like, oh my God, it's my first tour. And you see the mini bus pulling up and you're like, okay. <laughs> Get that nervous energy. And I think my first tour, I was talking quite quickly and uh, this is the next machine and okay, we haven't got time, let's go. <laughs> Whereas the, the last tour was like super chilled. Yeah. I was cracking jokes. <laughs> and and uh, certain tours, um, you get more questions than other groups and that's really cool getting that feedback mm. and what people are interested in and, and I love being able to answer questions and sometimes not able to answer the questions which is a great challenge. It's a learning opportunity <laughs> then, it right? Sure is, yeah. <laughs> um, and it's been lovely to see people's faces down here uh, in the town hall choosing their tops and their yarn yeah. and then you see them up at the mill tour as well and they, they're like, oh, I've had the best time doing all this. Good. Yeah. Fab. I went on a mill tour as well yeah. yesterday. <laughs> it was very exciting for me. I realised I'd never actually, been, I mean, I have obviously been on a mill tour, but I'd never been on like an official mill tour. Yeah, and like, yeah. I just wanted to get in the minibus, really. <laughs> Beck said that the seat belts were bright yellow and then I Ooh. had to experience it. Yeah. <laughs> but it was great. I really yeah. enjoyed it. Like everyone was so knowledgeable and it was really nice seeing the, the mill so clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and tidy. Yeah. yeah. And it's been really efficient. I think the customers have really liked that sort of turn up at the mill, you do your tour, you get back on the minibus. It's, good. it's worked really well. Good. And considering it's our first time doing it like that, yeah. well, I think it's worked really well. Good. <laughs> That's a tip. Perfect. Yeah, well, thank you so much for, you know, everything you do and for <laughs> all your hard work. That's all right. Weekend. It's really um, fun. I love doing it, getting yeah. to handle all the tops yeah. and talk to the customers. No, it's just so much fun. But you do more than that as well because actually you're learning to mi fix the machines a little bit yes. and stuff too, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to do, so. do a bit of the maintenance yeah. stuff so that we don't 
we don't want to have to rely on John's knowledge. He, really, yeah. he needs to pass it more on to us yeah. so that we can just deal with problems yeah. and stuff like Definitely. that. Definitely. So I, it's I you thought, and Jack that are yeah. sharing that, isn't I it? I thought you were going to say, Laura drives the big van. That's Laura what I really does also like. drive the big van. <laughs> <laughs> to get all the stuff from the mill to here, I get to drive the big Luton van, yeah. which is it's the highlight for me. <laughs> I couldn't do it, honestly. I can't even drive my little car without <laughs> bumping into things sometimes. Yes. So uh, I think Helena's not doing it either. Right, Helena go. is a fast driver, though. You don't want Helena in that van. It no. would go wrong. It would all fall out the back. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks so much for chatting. That's all right. Uh, a pleasure. Yeah. See you in a bit. Woohoo! Here's to the next one. <laughs> Here I am with Lola, and you've been helping us out over the weekend, helping man the stand. Yeah. But you've also brought some beautiful yarn along. Yeah, so I dye under third volt yarns. So I mostly dye on a range of different bases, but I dye on the Expo Sock base that you do, as well as on the Apple Door. And they are gorgeous. They're all quite highly saturated, your colours. Yes. They're definitely not for the faint-hearted, which I, I love a bit of colour, so I appreciate that about them. Yeah, I, lo I really like adding a little bit of moodiness into all yeah. of my colours. And so I kind of mix those kind of bright as well as darks and add that layer of kind of... Oh. Yeah. I don't know what that noise that's, is. That's a good way but, of describing yeah. it, man. A little bit of... <laughs> and you're based in London. I am, yes. So. Based in London currently. Soon to be based from Scotland. But Ooh, yes. Exciting. Yes. Very exciting. Are you moving to the countryside in Scotland or staying Not quite in the country? country. Yeah. Not quite yeah. country. But yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. But a little bit more remote than yes. London. London is a... Yeah. A lot less city city than London. <laughs> Oh, but nice change, everything will though. still be accessible online. Mm. That's not changing. Yeah. So, yeah. And all your colours are always based on like sci fi. Yes. Stuff, aren't so they? I am a massive geek and I wanted something to combine my different passions together. And so I was like, everything I do has to be sci fi and fantasy inspired. And so that means you've got fun colourways like this one which is um, Crown of Flames, which is inspired by the Graceling series by Kristen Cashel. And so this is um, Fire, the Fire Graceling. This what one, I got? I've got... Undersea. Undersea. So Undersea was actually one of the um, colorways designed for my last book, which was Board Game Knits. And this one was for Captain Sonar, which is a board game or it's kind of, what, what's it called? What's that game called? Battleships, but oh, like yeah. live action battleships where oh. you've got two teams and you've got a massive screen in between you and each of you are kind of playing different roles. And so yeah, it's a really fun interactive game and this one was designed for that. And this one, this one I was just having a little bit of fun on the uh, beautiful Apple Ball base yeah. when it was given to me last year. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It's beautiful, that colour as well. It's got yeah. a little bit of everything hiding yeah. in it, doesn't it? So this it? one was called Har it's called Harvest, this colourway. So not quite sci-fi and fantasy, but very apple <laughs> Definitely. And your sweater is amazing. Yes. So, uh, well, it's a bit of a secret, or not such a secret, but this is my dyeing hoodie. It started off white. <laughs> so you're nice and neat when you die. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. So it started off white, and uh, I, I was like, I need a dyeing hoodie. So I then, after I covered it in quite a bit of dye, I was like, okay, I'm gonna wash it, dye it, and now when I actually do my dyeing and I'm wearing something to keep me warm in the studio, it doesn't matter that I get splashes of dye all over it because you can't. No, it just adds so, to it, you yeah. know? Every little splash is just a little yeah. bit extra. So yeah. now you all know the secret. And you did a class as well. Yes, didn't so you? I taught a class on knitting short rows. Yeah. And it was about like learning a couple of different types of short rows and then actually learning how you can put them into your different garments, shawls, hats, everything to make them fit better as well as just using them as design features yeah. because I am slightly obsessed with short rows 
and I have a lot of short row knitting patterns. So I design a lot of knitwear patterns as well. And yeah, so short rows tend to feature in a fair few. Perfect. Well, thanks for chatting with yeah. us and thanks for bloody helping us all open weekend long as well. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you Honestly. for having me. Perfect. Cheers. Well, here I am with Bex. Hi. <laughs> And you have had an impossibly crucial role this whole weekend. I've done a lot of running around with a camera and yeah. Yeah, lots of yeah. flitting from one place to another and about 15 million mil tours <laughs> is what it feels like. <laughs> what are you on? Three? Four? Uh, three? Three. Three mil tours. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah. You'll be you'll be doing the mill tours in a oh, minute yeah. if you go on a couple more. more. <laughs> I know all the names. Butler, Julian, like Well, the reason we had to send you on so many mill tours is that um, you have been filming all this amazing footage people have been watching. So uh, if you're all sitting there at home thinking, this is so much better quality than their usual output. <laughs> It's thanks to you. It's thanks to Beth. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Honestly, you have really just like saved our skin. It's so nice to be able to like commemorate all of this marvelousness yeah. and the amazing stand that everyone's built. So, and I am usually terrible at a show. It's like usually I get to the show and I get so overexcited talking to everyone <laughs> and like bouncing around, and then it's like, oh, it's like. 1.30 and I still haven't even taken a photo to post on YouTube. There's a lot. Like, this has been my job for yeah. three days and even then you just yeah. feel like, how is it already like 2.30 in the yeah. afternoon and I feel like I haven't really done anything. Yeah. Well, so, I feel yeah. like I haven't done anything <laughs> either. So. Even when it's your dedicated job, there's still an awful lot to do. Yeah. So, like, trying to do everything else. Yeah and do all the like, social media and filming stuff is I'm impossible. sure you have done an absolutely amazing job and um, you also have a YouTube podcast of your own I do you, Bex? I do which yes. is why I thought to ask you so that's what got you roped into this particular job yeah this is um, <laughs> over, over a meal after a day at Wonderwall yeah it was a Fancy coming and doing some milk filming. Exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, so I have a YouTube channel. It's been uh, it's been going for about five, six years. And um, yeah, started off doing quite sort of traditional podcasty type stuff. And I realised that I just don't have time to do videos every single week or whatever. And so now I just focus on trying to do the absolute best videos I can. They're amazing though, honestly. Although, you know, I'm, I'm not the leading expert in any of the things that I talk about, but I really enjoy the research and trying to, you know, put it all into one video and trying to think about how educationally people can kind of access particular content. I always think if you think you're an expert, then that's a dangerous it thing is. and you should it's back really away yes. quite slow, like yes, quite quickly, like <laughs> Actually, be wary of anyone who thinks they're an expert in anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I think your videos are incredible. And you haven't actually said your channel, so I'll say it for you. It's Tiny Fiber Studio. And it is partially your fault that I have started spinning recently. Yeah, because, sorry about uh, that. Not sorry, obviously. <laughs> You'll be sorry when my stash is like 10 times the size because five is so I mean, you know, it'll be in your house, so... Yeah, so you won't what give a I shit. Care about <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, it's great though. They're really like good kind of beginner oriented, like explaining, you know, like how the spinning wheel works and what the different bits are called. They've got some crazy names. They sound really medieval, some of them. Yes, like, I kind of love that. Yeah, definitely. Like mother of all yeah. and like maiden wheel and, and maiden. Yeah. It's all a bit Game of Thrones, honestly. <laughs> That's one of the things that drew me in. <laughs> I love it, but I love, with, particularly with that video, I get messages every so often from people who've yeah. been reading books about the textile industry and how spinning started and the evolution of it into you know industrial revolution, and they're going, 
thank you so much for this video because I've read this book and none of it made any sense yeah. and I was just trying to find something to actually yeah. tell me how it all worked. So, yeah, so it's always nice when you get comments. Like yeah. And you are a very expert spinner as well. I try. You've even I spun try. your hair. I have spun my hair, <laughs> kind of, yeah. I've plied my hair. Bex has plied her hair. <laughs> no normal plait for you. Uh, no. No, this is the, the quicker and easier version. Perfect, perfect. And for anyone who's got an annual number one at home, mm. that beautiful illustration that Katie made, if you um, find the Spot Mr. Smoke illustration, you're the one enabling Katie to buy all the green yarn. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, you so. can go and hunt Bex as well as hunting Mr. Smoke. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, it's been such a treat having you here with us. It's been and a pleasure. It's been really lovely. Yeah. Really lovely weekends. No, it's been lovely. Yeah. And maybe one day um, I'll have to pick your brains about the camera yeah. equipment mm -hmm. and um, we could up the quality of the vlog. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> Until then, you can just rub me out. <laughs> Exactly, but thanks so much. You're it's very been welcome. a blast. Cheers. We've enjoyed it. So then the other fun thing that we will have at our virtual open weekend is our show and tell, um, which is always one of my favourite bits. I always really... Well, we don't often get to see the stuff knitted up. No. Like, we get excited when the samples turn up and we can see the stuff knitted up. And it's yeah. fun to see how people mix and match the colours and all Definitely. the different things you guys do. Yeah, for sure. Because I think when you see the colours a lot, like I have like specific colour combos that I know work together, but then it's amazing seeing what you folks out there do with them because you'll combine things in ways that hadn't occurred to me or like I've just started spinning. So it's then incredible seeing like some of the hand spun is just so just gorgeous and special. So, and then people make amazing felted things sometimes. The or... hand spun always comes out different to the machine spun mm. so what a color looks like in yarn when we make it doesn't always look like that when you do it by hand spinning so sometimes we see it and we're like what is this yeah definitely. you did that with one of one of our specials didn't you and it yeah, looked I very did. different i did yeah no it's i rearranged exciting. all the colors and made a little gradient instead and mm. yeah looked very different to the the way the mill does it yeah. so and then yeah so you can show us the show and tell yeah please do show us your show and tell so we this is something we do at every open weekend um and there will be a thread in our Ravelry group or if you're not into Ravelry that's totally fair enough in that case um there's also a hashtag that you can use on Instagram I'm afraid you do have to use one of those two platforms because otherwise we get too confused um, um, yeah, we won't see it. <laughs> so the way it will work is um you will use the JAT show and tell 2022 hashtag or post in the Ravelry group and it's just anything you've made Made using our fiber yarn mixture of both whatever it is big or small and um, something that if you've just hand spun the yarn obviously that counts as yes a, yeah you don't have to have made an entire jump no. or anything like that no exactly so just any project in our wares um, just take a little photo of it and post it um, and then you'll be entered into winning a £20 gift voucher, which is pretty great. So, and it's just a really nice way of kind of seeing exactly all the things that people have been making. And of course, if you have multiple makes, you can enter a couple different times, just do them in different posts. Um, and then what we will do is um, just randomly pick some winners. So, but it always ends up being really inspiring, kind of seeing all of the different things. Yeah. So ha follow the, the hashtag or look in the Ravelry thread, even if you haven't got anything, just to see what everyone else yeah. has been doing. That's what I'll be doing. I'll yeah. just be having a It's a good a way of getting inspiration just to see what, what colours work or what combos you like. 100%. So I will pop the details for all of that in the 
um, like the info at the bottom of this uh, vlog as well. So you can just head down there and find all the info. Um, but yeah, we hope you'll kind of join in and you might have something. I think you're probably also allowed a whip. I would say whips are fair enough. Yeah. You know? Any Just because you've not finished it, it's fine. Yeah. I've got a lot. Exactly. You know, and sometimes if you've got a lingering whip, sometimes you need a bit of encouragement. So yeah. <laughs> dusting it off again and taking a photo might make you fall back in love with it, which yeah. is well worth doing. <laughs> So I'm here with Phil and we're in the mill and uh, in front of Kevin, Kevin, one of the machines that you work with here at the yep. mill. And this weekend you've had lots of people come visit, which isn't the norm. How's that been? Well, it's been fun. Yeah, yeah. it's been really good. good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've, had a, we've had fairly full tours all the way through. Um, anything between sort of 15 and 19, 20 on a tour. Some people who have had uh, issues because of mobility, so we've had a few, one lady in a wheelchair, other bits and pieces, so some interesting things to deal with, but generally speaking, uh, everyone who's come has been fantastic. So, yeah. Good, so it makes it a bit of a different work day for you, doesn't it? Oh, incredibly so, yeah, yeah. I don't stand here talking all day. Yeah. <laughs> no, usually you're, you've got your headphones on and I you're have, busy working yeah, yeah. on the machines. Yeah, so we're on the machines, we've obviously got production schedules to work to, yeah. um, so we're pushing through product all day long, yeah. Yeah, so, so have you had any tricky questions from people? Yeah, one or two. Yeah, one or two that have come up through the, uh, through the process. There was a question about the spray dyes that are used on the fleeces, mm -hmm. what they were made of. So I had to oh, yeah. look that one up and find out what that was. Yeah. So you have been uh, helping create some new shades for mm -hmm. the yarn specials we that have, yeah. uh, were Very launched exciting. this weekend. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, how did you find that process? Yeah, it was great. I mean, involved in production most of the time normally, so uh, getting involved in the creative end of the business is uh, a challenge. Yeah, something different. <laughs> something very different. Yeah. Um, but nice to be asked to be involved in doing that. And between myself and Daisy, uh, so Daisy tends to work upstairs on the on the mezzanine and mm -hmm. does a lot of the back end production, and I'm downstairs doing more of the day-to-day um, -day front end of the production. Yeah. So between us, we were able to bring something different to it. Yeah. Excellent. Hopefully, so I think and we've produced something nice. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you worked on the Devonia base, yes. right? Yeah. And you created three colours, and mm -hmm. they are called. They're called. Uh, uh, they're called um, Willow Herb. That's right. And Wild Damson, and Beetle Wings. Beetle Wings, yeah. Mm. They and are they're really all lovely. Sort of a pinky base to them to try and fit yeah. within what we think are the missing parts of the Devonia range. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, maybe there for the future, maybe not, we'll see. Hopefully people will like them and they'll sell. Yeah, we'll see how they go <laughs> down with you guys. Hi, so I'm here with Martha and uh, we are at the mill and uh, I'm uh, curious, Martha, how's the tours been? They've been very good, they've been very full, everyone's been very excited and very asking loads of questions and wanting oh, to Oh, any, tr any tricky questions for John? Oh, oh. <laughs> I bet there's been some. <laughs> Any tricky questions for you? Not as of yet. <laughs> you can answer everything. Well, I try to. <laughs> but everyone, yeah, everyone's loved it. They've loved being able to see how everything's actually made. And yeah. what does it feel like to actually have an in-person open weekend? It's lovely. It's so lovely to meet the people that actually buy the stuff because we're here every day making it, mm. and you don't realise. I think you forget that you're making it for people. <laughs> yeah, right. And then it's so nice just to chat to people and see projects people have made, and it's fun. It's just wonderful. It's lovely. So today you're here at the mill doing the tours, and then yesterday you were at the uh, town hall doing yes, yeah. the exhibition stuff. Yeah, and selling all that. the yarn in the world. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and all the tops. Yeah, yeah. It was such a good atmosphere there yesterday. Wasn't it was. It, it was lovely. Yeah. yeah. And just to be able to touch the yarn and show off all the colours, that's yeah. pretty fun. It is, yeah. it is. And it's been lovely to have our specials on show. Um, yeah, exactly. And you've helped create some of them, haven't you? Yep, three colours. It was Oak and Pippin, Sugarbush and Sour Bay. 
of our me and Tasha specials. The pink and the yellow, I think, are my favourite. They think are so beautiful. And I think lots of people popular. actually. <laughs> yeah. I think we sold a lot of tops in both of those and a lot of yeah. yarn, which is really nice. Yeah, because the special colours are all available as tops and as, as yarn. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Something for everyone. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's great. It's so nice to get feedback mm. and for to be able to create something. <laughs> Brilliant. joining us yeah. Um, and yeah we hope you'll kind of tune in for some of our open weekend excitement we forgot to mention that um all of these special goodies we've been showing you will all go live at 12 p.m um british summertime because we are in the uk and it is indeed summer yeah supposedly yeah. <laughs> we also forgot to show you but so it's, about it. it matches the bag. It matches the bag. So lots of fun goodies um, and they're all coming on the Saturday. Uh, they're also launching with yarn shops, which is great. So for some of you folks living further afield, you might be able to snag some of those skeins from your local yarn shop instead, which is always nice to support people. Um, but yeah, we will see you very shortly on Instagram live in person and um, we hope you'll join us over the weekend it should be great fun bye bye see you soon <laughs>